Okay, so uh, thank you for the organizers for this the wonderful conference, and uh, thank you for me giving the occasions to give a talk about the uh, self theory strings in six dimension and the instanton countings for the five dimensional super young uh, which are the disjoint subjects which are loosely related to each other. And uh, these are based on two papers. The first one is the general instanton countings and the five dimensional super comfort field theory. Uh, by Chiung Huang, uh, who is my student, and uh, Seo Kim at the Seoul Russian University, and uh, Chuno Kim, uh, who is Seo Kim's students. And the, the other one is the elliptic genus of these strings uh, by Chuno Kim, Seo Kim, and uh, Kim Young Lee at the Kias in Seoul, and also Kumun Baba. And so this is about exploring aspects of the five dimension and the six dimensional superconform field theories using the reasonably developed techniques of the one dimension and the two dimensional supersymmetric field theories. Okay, so the outline is, is that the first section, I'd like to describe the self theory strings in the six dimensional spoken word field. And then after that, I change the gears so that I'd like to motivate uh, for the instant countings for the five dimensional super young miss. And then the details of the 0,4 ADHM quantum mechanics uh, should be followed. And after that, uh, I'm going to conclude. Okay, so uh, let me start with uh, the self theory string. So uh, as we already heard of the uh, Kumnun and the Jonathan's talks, we know that there are many of the interesting 0,1 spoken for field theories in sixth dimension. And then especially uh, we saw this arise in the F3 setting. However, we can also consider the similar M3 setting uh, for, for such uh, 0,1 spoken for field theories. Now I'm going to focus uh, mostly on the 0,1 EA theory. Uh, which arises from this the M5 and M9, which is the order of written world. And then considering the coincidental limit when this the M5 brain is uh, touching upon this the M9, uh, in that case, uh, this the NM2 in the coincidental limit, uh, they produce the uh, tension near self theory strings, uh, which can be interpreted as interpreting the two dimensional supercomponent <coughs> field theory. So the natural question is how can you describe uh, such, self uh, such self theory string theories? So I mean uh, some kind of the microscopy descriptions. So uh, the proposal I would like to make uh, is, is that using some the related gauge theory configurations and starting from the related type 2 configurations where we have uh, NS5 planes and uh, ND2s uh, with uh, the ATA planes <coughs> with the Orient 4A planes. And then if we consider the, uh, the coupling constant of D2s are going to infinite, and then from the string duality point of view, uh, we are considering the, the compact file limit so that NS5s are mapping into the, the M5 and this the OA plus ADAs, uh, those are mapped to the Horaba written world and this the ND2s are mapped to the, the M2 brains. So this is the analog of the Horaba, the, the Hane written setup. On the other hand, uh, from the gauge theory point of view on the world volume of the D2s, and then if you take the uh, young mills of the two dimension infinite, and then uh, this, uh, for this uh, one, one plus one dimensional field theory, it seems to lead to the comfort field theory limits. And so the, uh, the suggestion is, uh, if we consider this the self theory string theories, and then we should consider the corresponding the two dimensional theory, and then going to the infrared limit to see uh, whether uh, the proposal is correct. Okay, so uh, since I mean this is kind of the Hanani written setup, it is rather easy to work out the resulting two-dimensional gauge theory meta contents. So the resulting the worship supersymmetry is given by the 0, 0,4. And then the, the symmetry we have in the brain configuration is uh, SO4, uh, which is the rotation around the 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, which is the uh, transverse of the D2, but the longitudinal direction of the NS4. And then the SO3 rotation, uh, which is both the uh, transfers to the, uh, N, uh, the D2 and the M5. And then this can be written as the three SU2s. And then I'm going to use the double indices for all the threes by the alpha beta and alpha beta dot and AB. The meta content of the 0,4 worship spot symmetry, uh, those are given by the, the, meta, the vector multiplets, uh, which are the gauge fields and the line moving fermions. And the hypermultiplets, uh, which are the four bosonic, uh, zero, uh, the four bosonic modes, and uh, the left to moving the fermions, and then the the fermion the multiplets, uh, which are just given by the right moving fermions. Uh, if we consider in this the specific context of the previous Hanani written setup, uh, one can figure out the vector is in the O-N anti-symmetric uh, representation, while the hyper is a O-N symmetric configuration, and the Fermi uh, is 
uh, uh, behaving as ON times S16 uh, by fundamentals. So the interaction is determined by the 0,4 supersymmetry, but at this point, uh, we are not that interested in the detailed interactions because uh, the basic chat uh, about the evidence uh, for the proposal is to work out the elliptic genus of the resulting two-dimensional theories. So we all know the well know this the, the elliptic genus in the, the string theory setup. However, recently, uh, if we consider the 0,2D, uh, 0,2 version of the two-dimensional gauge theories, and then the corresponding elliptic genus uh, was worked out by the Gade Gukov and the Benini Igor and Horian Tachikawa independently. And especially they give rise to the same path into representation and the working out the localization formula. So one can just uh, uh, using uh, their result to see whether uh, one can have the, the right expected uh, the properties out of uh, this the, uh, the elliptic genus. Uh, since the world form theory is a 0,4, one can choose some subset of the 0,2 worship Susi, and then one can uh, define this the elliptic genus. Uh, where uh, we have this the J1 and JI and the J2, JI entering, uh, those are the, the cartons of the, the rotational symmetries entering before in the, the brain setup. And then Y, uh, those are the cartons of the SO16. And so the elliptic genus is important in the sense that it gives rise to the information of the BPS spectrum of the sixth dimensional theory. And also in the suitable the F theory or the M theory, the uh, dual setups, uh, they give rise to the original topological string amplitudes on the related color bias through many folds. On the other hand, uh, for uh, this kind of specific uh, topological string amplitudes, uh, those are well known. And so uh, this will be the good testing uh, bed uh, for our proposal. Uh, the important check is, is that uh, in the UV uh, the setup, we just have the SO16 the the flavor symmetry, but we expect that in the infrared, uh, it should have the enhanced E8 the global symmetry. So let's see how things are going on. So if we consider the single string, I, by the way, uh, this is called uh, the E string, uh, according to the Jonathan Heckman of Krum Vapa. Uh, the, if we consider O1, uh, we should consider O1 gauge theory. Then this is just the Z2 gauge symmetry. And so we have the, the four discrete holonomies on T2. So when we consider the elliptic genus, then we should sum over all these four kinds of the, the discrete holonomies. And then uh, this is the result. Uh, the notable thing is, is that uh, along this process, uh, we can obtain the EA theta functions. So uh, the EA symmetry we expect is a manifest. Uh, incidentally, uh, the summing of these the four discrete holonomies are very similar uh, to the user uh, way of obtaining the EA times EA heterotic string out of the free fermion formalism, uh, starting from uh, the fermions with the SO32 symmetries. In that case, uh, we give rise to the periodic and the anti-period boundary condition for the half of the, the fermion and the other half of fermions. And then if we employ the suitable gen, uh, the GSO projections, that give rise to precisely uh, this the EA current algebras. Uh, this kind of the GSO projections and then the summing of the RNA sectors uh, those are precisely uh, uh, carried by the summing of the four discrete holonomies in the uh, O1 gauge theory setting. So it's curious that this gauge theory knows this kind of the uh, E heterotic string out of free fermion formalisms. On the other hand, uh, if we go to the higher string, for example, if we uh, have the O2 gauge theory, and then the resulting so because in this case, uh, we should have uh, the seven holonomy sectors, and then we should again sum over all these uh, seven holonomy sectors. Now, uh, if you just look at these expressions, then the EA global symmetry is not manifest at all. However, uh, uh, this is the resulting the expression uh, would coincide with the previous result obtained by the Hagiga, Lokat, and Vafa. And then they use the different anjas and then employing the full EA symmetry and the, with some low genus expansions. And the, the resulting expression is the manifest EA symmetry because the A1 or the uh, A2, B2 appearing there, or oh, those are e, EA invariant Jacobi modular, the Jacobi forms. Uh, surprisingly, uh, those two completely different looking expressions, uh, they are coincident with each other. So which propose, uh, which suggests that our proposal is indeed correct. Uh, for the higher E strings, like uh, the three E string or the four E strings, uh, in that case, uh, we don't have uh, that kind of uh, some detail check. 
However, one can check that those results coming from this one are uh, consistent with the known results of the topological string amplitudes. Okay, so we have just one example of the self dual string theory. So one might wonder whether there are many of them and whether they admit some similar gauge theory descriptions in two dimension. Of course there are. Uh, the famous example is so-called the M-string. So basically we should consider the M2 brains uh, suspended between the two M5 brains. And then if you consider the co-instant limit of the M5 brains, one can produce again the self dual string, uh, which is called the M-string. Uh, actually, the, the gauge theory configuration for this one was worked out by Hagigat, uh, Kozak, Slokrat, and Bafa uh, uh, before the E-string. And actually, uh, this is the, the string motivation for us to look for the corresponding E-string configurations. Okay, so the logic is similar. We consider the type A configuration, uh, which in the decompactify limit is into mapping of this the M2 brains suspended to the M5 brains. So we are considering the two NS5 brains with the ND2s. And then for the technical reason, uh, we introduced the one single D6. So when you consider the, the compact environment limit, this uh, D6 is uh, geometrized, and, in the, and then uh, it leads to the, the flat geometry. So uh, just from this one, if we just uh, read off the gauge theory content for the one plus one dimensional theory, uh, it's again given by the two dimensional zero comma four theory uh, with the UN vector multiplet and one adjoint hyper and one fundamental hyper and the one fundamental Fermi. And also they uh, worked out the elliptic genus and then they again obtained the previous known results. And so then this again, this proposal uh, passed uh, many of the tests. Uh, there are other, other example. So all these examples are mapped to the F3 setting. And then uh, if we consider F3 on the elliptic color BL3, with the base is given by the O minus N bundles over P1. And then the self dual string I talked about is mapped to the D3, the brains wrapping on the shrinking two cycle, in this case, P1. Uh, it is known in the mid 90s that the N equal one case uh, give rise to E string, and the N equal two case give rise to the M string. Uh, also, around that time, it is known that the specific case of the N equal 4, they admit the perturbative type to be orientable description, uh, which is the, basically the Situma Z2 geometry with the suitable orientable projections. So once you are given this the perturbative type to be orientable descriptions, then it is very easy to work out the perturbative spectrum of the uh, resulting 0, 4 to the, uh, 0, 4 theory in two dimension. So essentially, it is given by the SP gauge theory with uh, the vector multiplet and some bifundamentals and the bifundamental fermions. And so these are again given by, uh, worked out by Hagiga, Clem, Lokrat, Bafan, uh, after E string. And again, uh, they checked the many of the uh, tests. And then again, uh, the proposal is the right one. Okay, so, so far I talked about the uh, self-dual strings in six dimension. And then now I'd like to change the gears and would like to talk about the instant on countings for the five dimensional super young mirrors. And so uh, previously, we just uh, explored some aspects of the six dimensional the spoke confirmed field theories. Now, there's another way of exploring that, uh, which is using the super young mirrors uh, in the five dimension. So, as we know, some of the spoke confirmed field theories in five dimension and six dimension, uh, those are, can be obtained by the considering the strong coupling limit of the super young mirrors. And then uh, using this one, one can obtain the partition function over the super conformal index of those results. Uh, from the localization of the 5D super young mirrors on uh, this type of manifold. The curious thing is, is that the five dimensional super young mirrors is not renormalizable, but the suitable localization gives rise to the right answer uh, for the, uh, the super conformal theories in 5D and the sixth dimension. So which is a bit curious. Uh, it turns out that all of the localization computation, uh, uh, they uh, just reduce the evaluation of the instanton uh, partition function of the Necrosov on S1 times R4 with the various groups and with the various matters. Uh, so people looked for actually the N equal one, five dimensional SPN with uh, an F flavor. The, the, the flavor is five, six, seven, eight uh, with uh, one anti-symmetric hyper. And it is well known because uh, those exhibit uh, E6 and E7 and E8 global symmetry. Uh, on the other hand, again, uh, we have the, the same problem. Uh, those theories are non-normalizable. 
And then uh, it is a bit curious, how can you define the instanton calculus? Uh, the related fact is, is that if we consider five-dimensional U1 n equal one star, uh, which is the massive deformation of the maximal Young mills, and then the Necrasso Passion function necessarily involves the small instanton singularities. However, it is very crucial to include such small instanton contributions to obtain the right index for the one M5 range, the single M5 range of the 0, 2 theory. So the question is, uh, in this kind of the unrenormalizable setting, uh, it is very ambiguous uh, which states should be included or which should be, which states should not be included. Uh, so then what is our proposal uh, for uh, giving the right answer? Uh, we use the string theory as a guide and then view the five-dimensional super young mills as the D4 system. And then we consider the D0, D4 supersymmetric quantum mechanics. Of course, I mean, this, this guy gives rise to the, the instantons in the D4. And so uh, this is the plausible proposal to compute the necklace of partition function. So basically, we would like to consider the Witten index for this, the, the D0 brain quantum mechanics. Uh, there are some subtleties we should take care of. And after that, uh, we give rise to the right answer. OK, so the message is that uh, we solved the previously unsolved technical problem, uh, which is the evaluation of the necklace of partition function. But basically, those are the reduced to the evaluation of residues. So what happens is that if you consider the, of the, the instant moduli spaces, and then uh, we should take care of the, the pores arising from this integration. And then that is essentially reduced to some, oops, the evaluation of the, the residues. So which pores we should pick up and which pores we should discard. Uh, so this kind of the control for the evaluation for the general case is unknown. The only cases we are uh, known uh, before our proposal is the, the n equal one vector multiplicity, and then those are worked out by Nekrasov. Uh, if we consider the five dimension n equal one hypermultiple of the arbitrary representation, it's not known. Okay, so going down to the one dimensional quantum mechanics, since we are uh, dealing with uh, one dimensional quantum mechanical systems, and then here uh, we give the, the systematic derivation of the contour. Uh, partly because the similar results were, were known for the two-dimensional elliptic genus. Uh, they also consider face the, the same problem of the choosing the contour, and then uh, those are worked out by the so-called choosing the Jeffrey Cohen residues. So in one-dimension and two-dimensional the localization problem, uh, this the choice of the contour is relatively well understood. So if you use uh, this the procedure, and then work out this the instant partition functions, and then give back to the five-dimensional the partition function, and then we uh, obtain the right result, uh, which is the expected one. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the, this one-dimensional quantum mechanics those also worked out by the Hori, Kim Yi, and also the Kordva and Shao independently, and then they are more interested in the wall crossing phenomena in uh, the four-dimensional theories. So I'm going to comment on that later. OK, so let me just briefly talk about the ATH and quantum mechanics. So we know that we are basically interested in the five-dimensional and equal one theories with the eight supercharges. And then we are interested in the, the instantons. The interesting thing is, is that uh, these instantons in five dimension, and those are the particles. And then they preserve, again, the, the half of this the eight supercharge. Again, those are the 0, 0,4 supersymmetry. symmetry. The important point is, is that there could be some bound states of the element particles and the instantonic particles. And it's known that uh, this kind of bound states are playing a crucial role in the enhancement of the global symmetry of the sum of the five dimensional superconformal theories. And so uh, we should pick up the right bound states of the elementary particles and instantons. Uh, so this is the D0, D4, and then I already told you that this has the 0, 0,4 Suzy quantum mechanics, which is basically the dimensional reduction of the 0, 0,4 uh, two-dimensional supersymmetry. And so the multiple structures just follows from 2D, so the, we can talk about uh, the vector multiplets and the hyper multiplets and the Fermi multiplets. And so uh, given this the D4 gauge group, uh, which usually arises from this kind of the, the D brain setting where we can have the D4 and DA. And then depending on this gauge group, one can have the corresponding D0 gauge group, UK, OK, SPK, with the K being the instanton numbers. 
And then we can have this the D0, D4, the string, or which are the bifundamental hypers. And then D0, D0, or those represent the position moduli of the instantons. And we can also have the Fermi multiplets. Of course, we can consider interactions, but here our purpose is again consider some index. So basically, this meta content is important in uh, determining the localization formula. So our proposal is uh, it, we compute the index for this one, uh, for k being the instanton number, and then uh, for each of the k, uh, we consider the index for this guy and then summing over them. And then uh, this is our proposal for the instanton partition functions in five dimension. Again, this is the J1, J2, or the JR, or those are the same, the, the SU symmetries appearing in the two dimensional setting. And then one can add some of the uh, chemical potentials whenever we have some global symmetries. Uh, the integration or the localization goes in the usual way. So we should we have uh, some zero mode integrals, the uh, holonomy of the vectors and the scalar. Uh, the curious thing is, is that in this case, uh, this gives rise to the cylinder geometry, while in the two dimensional case, the elliptic genus is uh, give rise to the uh, total geometries. And so we have a, uh, uh, oops. So we have a, uh, 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 the classical contribution uh, coming from if we have uh, the one-dimensional chan simon term, and then there's a various one-loop contribution, uh, which comes from uh, basically this is written in terms of the 0, uh, 2 multiple, which is a 0, 0,2 vector, 0, 0,2 Fermi, and 0, 0,2 Cairo. Uh, those are written in terms of some of the representations of these matters. Uh, one thing we should uh, keep in mind is that 0, 0,4 hyper uh, is decomposed two of the 0, 0,2 Cairo. And the 0, 0,4 vector is decomposed the 1 0, 0,2 vector and the 1 0, 0,2 Fermi. So once you know that, or then one can figure out what would be the localization formula for the 0, 0,4 theory. Uh, as always the case, uh, in the formulas, uh, we have uh, some the danger re the regions we should take care of, especially uh, the expressions appearing in the, the chiral multiple contribution of the one loop. Uh, so there are two regions we should take care of. One is the two non-compact regions of the, the cylinder, and then the poles from the kara multiplet uh, arising from this one. So poles from this kara multiplet, uh, those uh, should be uh, taken care of the carefully. Uh, but I mean, this is done uh, following the, the recent recipe of the two-dimensional case of this Jeffrey Cohen residues. So what happens after the long computation uh, is that we just uh, consider the multidimensional multi residue calculus. So essentially, uh, the, the final expression of the, the index is just given uh, by the summing of this Jeffrey Cohen residue. Uh, in order to define this Jeffrey Cohen residue, uh, we should define, introduce some additional auxiliary vectors. And uh, whenever these auxiliary vectors are belonging to the cone of these charge vectors appearing in the denominator, and then uh, we have this non zero results. On the other hand, uh, we have uh, the vanishing results. So, given the determination of these auxiliary vectors, in many of the cases, uh, it is given by the FI parameters whenever we have the, the U1 uh, uh, factors exist. And then uh, one can decide this one. On the other hand, one might worry whether the final results could depend on the choice of uh, these additional uh, the auxiliary vectors. Uh, for two-dimensional case, uh, it's known that uh, it is independent of this choice of the auxiliary vectors. On the other hand, uh, if we consider one-dimensional case, oops, I'm sorry, uh, one-dimensional case, uh, uh, if we consider the, the quantum mechanics, which is the dimensional reduction of 2,2, then they could have the FI dependence, and then they give rise to the interesting phenomenon of wall crossing, uh, which was worked out by the Horikim and the E, and the Cordova showered independently. However, we are interested in 0,4 theory, and then uh, from the various supersymmetric algebra and the other consideration, we expect that there should not be a dependence on the FI parameters. So what happens is, is that uh, whenever there's uh, some the potential subtleties in uh, the expression, some dependence on this the FI parameters or the auxiliary vectors, and then it happens is that uh, there's uh, some additional Coulomb branches of the D0 brains can occur, so that this, the D0 brains can escape. 
However, uh, this is not what you want. Basically, we are just interested in the Higgs branch of the D0. So basically, what should you have, uh, what should do is cut off uh, these additional contributions, uh, which is called uh, this, the G-string or the G-extra. And so that uh, the, uh, whatever happens, all this the FI, what happens is that all of this FI dependence, uh, those uh, are residing in uh, this the Z-string or the Z-extra. And then this the, the wanted the ZQFT, or those are independent of the FI dependence. So this kind of the prescription works for all the cases we worked. And so as an application, we work out uh, this, the formalism to n equal one uh, five-dimensional SPN theory with uh, NF equals six, seven, eight. Uh, for the NF equals six, seven, we obtained the five-dimensional superconformal index with uh, X split E7 and E8 symmetry, which is a very non tibial And this is an improvement over the initial attempt of the uh, computation of five dimensional superconformal index for the Kim Kim Lee. I think, I mean, they work out the right symmetry up to NF equal five, and then uh, we go further for the NF equal six, seven. But in order to do that, uh, we need some better understanding of the, the instant calculus, and we did. And finally, for the NF equal 8, and then in this case, we recover the E-string elliptic genus results from the instanton calculus. So let me conclude. So uh, in the uh, supersymmetry, the five dimensions the, the, for the instanton calculus, we derive the necklace of instanton partition function in a systematic way using the ADHM quantum mechanics. So this holds for the classical gauge groups with arbitrary matter, matter representations. As long as we know the result, the, the interest in the one-dimensional quantum mechanics. So if we know the one-dimensional quantum mechanics, then we can just work out the poor prescriptions, and then we obtain the right, the instant partition functions of 5D. And so uh, this would be the, the basic tools uh, to explore the conformal results in 5D and the 6D superconformal field theories if uh, those superconform field theories admit the super young mills descriptions. Uh, on the other hand, uh, for the six-dimensional 0, 0,1 EA theory, we propose the tension string theory as an IR limit of the related two-dimensional gauge theory. And so obviously, uh, this method should work for the many other cases of the uh, 0, 0, 0,1 cases. So uh, I hope that uh, one can recover some of them uh, the Jonathan uh, talked about. And so then once we know this the gauge theory description, and this is a good starting point for exploring the details of the uh, resulting the superconformal field theories beyond just the elliptic genus was um, that kind of thing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Questions, comments? Okay, then let's thank Jim again.